Hello Retro Community and welcome back to my channel, another video and again it's Eduardo Casino who uh, managed to do the impossible and bring, you see it in the headline, CPM, the operating system, to the Kim1 and Pal1, clone of the Kim1. Um, Originally, this, this port to the 6502 processor was done by David Given. You see, the initial post was October 2022, and he ported it to his BBC Micro. And later on, you can see it in his JIT, GitHub, he ported it to C64, WIC, PET, the new Commander X16, the Apple II, Ataris, everything. So, Eduardo <coughs> used uh, Ryan Roth's SD card adapter program, which is uh, simply hooked up to your Kim one or Pal one or whatever. It's just simply wired and uh, used it, wrote a little bootloader here you can see it here Duck. this is the bootloader to load a cpm to your kim or pal i have maxed out the rom of my kim which means i have a 32 kilobyte rem expansion and this is a 16 kilobyte even if it states 32 it's just 16 kilobytes and here is the second riot which we used to no stuff so it's already loaded to address 200 and let's go Ta -da! cpm for kim1 takes a little time to load the operating system and here we go let's make a directory we have a, a virtual disk on the SD card with uh, 32 megabytes of space when it's a 4 gigabyte card <laughs> a little bit too much but hey it works so let's do let's do day info d info just disk in info. Da -da -da -da. see 32 megabytes three we can show the RAM configuration to B0003, which is the maximum for my PAL1. And um, we have a basic interpreter and Pascal interpreter and uh, an assembler. Um, a basic editor, which works just like with, with line numbers and resorting. This is also fine. Yes. Um, Let's see what this system will develop into. We have such a large amount of systems here, you can see it again. So uh, I, I hope someone will write a decent editor and, and some other tools to work with it. Yes, so have fun. Thank you for watching.